welcome back to my channel everyone this is Donnie you're watching diamond painting by Donnie and today I am doing the the third sneak peek for Bella art diamonds of the 66 that they are releasing on Saturday uh, January 6th and if you want to see the other two unboxings I did I will link them in um, it, it keeps changing. It used to be the eye that was up in the, um, upper corner up there, but now I think you have to hit the like wheel that's up there. And then it says more from diamond painting by Donnie and it shows you all the cards that I link. So, uh, check there and if not, just go to my channel and then there'll be the most three recent videos that I've posted. If you're watching this, um, currently in January 2024. Okay, this diamond painting is called, okay, my, my vision has gotten bad. I wrote it down, uh, Valkyria and Pegaso. Um, it's by Moran Natasha. I, it, oh, I'm really bad that I probably mangled that. But here is a bigger image up on the screen of what this one looks like. You take a look there and we will open this box and show you the first thing that'll come out is your <clears throat> Bella essential tray and it comes in white you get one with every diamond painting that you purchase from Di Bella art diamonds and then you will have this package everything else will be in here and you open it up and we're going to get to the toolkit next so I can show that to you. Okay, there we go. Um, their diamond paintings are made from um, soft lint. The canvases are soft lint. They do have the scalloped and serged edges to keep your um, diamond painting from fraying. And they did send me a couple of other things from their shop to show you guys, and I will show you those. Don't let me forget. Okay, here is our toolkit, and what you get is you get a pair of tweezers, pointy, very sharp. The um, you'll get them with whether you buy a round or a square kit. This kit is a full round and it's 60 by 60 centimeters. And I'll get you the other information once I get it open because I don't know how many colors and whatnot are in it until then. You get your uh, diamond pin, your placement pin, and it comes with your three placer on the end. You also get What's coming next? Uh, we've got our six placer and the nine placer. And then you get a random roll of washi tape, which I really like the, this uh, Eiffel Tower washi tape. It's really cute. And you also get a pen grip in a random color. And this one's in uh, bright pink. And that's also called a squishy. Then you get this little container here with three um, discs of blue wax and they are covered in with a plastic film on both sides. So make sure you remove uh, the film from both sides before you start using it. All right, so that is our toolkit. And now we will pull open that diamond painting and see what we've got. Um, they do use all resin drills, so you're, if, whether you have a square or round kit, it's going to be completely resin. I mean, they're all made out of resin. And here at the very top, you can see their name, and they've got uh, Share Your Love for Bella Art Diamonds on social media, and hashtag Bella Art Diamonds. And then they've got their website for their diamond paintings, and their shop where they do their 3D printing and sell accessories, which I do have a few of them here. Um, they did send me this one. It's 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's super cute. It's uh, made of uh, resin. They um, do have some resin um, cover minders. It's super cute. It's a one-eyed bear, purple, and I love purple. And they have a magnet in on the inside of the the bear inside the resin, so the magnet just fits right in there. I think it's actually right here in the belly. It kind of sunk down to the belly, but it still works. These are these are um, rare earth diamonds, so they're I mean rare earth uh, magnets, so they're they're pretty strong, and that's number one super cute and i'll show you what else i don't remember what all they sent me and what i own so i might end up showing you some of the stuff i own because um i don't remember what all they sent me um here inside you get your sticker sheet that has oh all 56 colors in this and these are individual stickers that you can remove to put on whatever container you're kitting up into. And then you've got, this is this whole thing is a sticker. So what I've been doing is cutting out the image and putting it in my, my um, journal. And, but you know, um, it also gives you the size and round drills and all the colors. So this has 4AB in it. 4AB drill, and you can see that at the very bottom there. They have the AB after their number. So there's two of them that are purple that are going to be AB, a bluish one, and then the white. And they uh, they do hand chart these, and they've made it really uh, a point to make sure that the first eight colors will be one through eight and the same they will correspond with one through eight on the canvas and they won't have any two symbols on here that are going to be hard th to recognize between the two there's some really dark colors here so uh, there's a lot of letters if they have a capital letter um, they won't have it in lowercase if they have it in lowercase they will not have it in uppercase so there's the different symbols they have when you've got this many colors, you have to use some of those oddball symbols. But, yeah, like that one. I don't see that one very often. Number 30. Looks like stitches to me. And the one above it, that's... I've seen it before, but it's, it's one of the ones you don't see too often. And then I think that's the female symbol. Number 26. <laughs> And that one I've never seen before, number 47. And I have no idea. What would you call that symbol? Um, and then number 50, that looks like a diamond ring. So look at all that. There we go. So nothing too uh, similar so that you wouldn't recognize what they are. Okay, so now let's open up. This canvas. Now I'm not gonna be able to get the whole, the full thing on the table here, and my camera doesn't pull out that far. Uh, so I will post a picture of it being held up right about here. And 60 by 60. It's you know not. Su I mean, back when I first started diamond painting, 60 by 60 was like huge for me, but. I mean, it, it doesn't feel that large now, now that, I mean, I'm looking at it, but you know, I love, I love unicorns. I love, you know, um, all things magic and this Pegasus is beautiful. Um, number one, no, is that number one? Yeah, that's a number one, all that red that outlines the wings and the the horses um uh, the, the the girl's dress that's what it is so those will be all lined uh, outlined in number one but what we're wanting to look at here is our um ab drills and if as you can see this this key is upside down right here that is so that when and if some people like to turn their when they get so far working up this way, they like to turn it around and then work this way. And that way they have a key 
over here that's going to be right side up. So it's right side up on the left hand side. So if you do it this direction, you've got the left side, the keys right side up. And let's see, our first AB is going to be the symbol, the letter A and the letter D and then the check mark and then the arrow that goes this way, which I'm not gonna remember all those, but I do remember seeing check marks. Oh, wow. So the check mark is uh, that bluish color and this whole sky here, that's gonna be AB. And there's that down arrow that points down to the um, bottom right. That's our white AB color. And it's mixed in with in the this uh, bluish area. So those are all, this whole section's gonna be AB. Got this big section here. Um, we've got some of the white in here, but there's another, it looks like there's other colors mixed in there. Um, but um, the white, it looks like the wings are mostly going to be all AB uh, because that arrow is all throughout the wings. And while we're at it, let's, let's look up close at these symbols so you can see them. Yeah. Those are some very sharp images of the symbols. So wings, the sky over here too, even in the clouds uh, down in here, we've got more of the AB, the white AB, and it, it's everywhere. I mean, it's all over the place. So right here, we've got more of the check marks. So the blue AB there, we've got it over in here. And I'm looking for A and D. So we've got some of the D in here. So they're both a purplish color. In fact, let me pull out those. The I mean, first of all, look at this array of beautiful colors. These are really pretty pastels, mostly. And at the end here, we've got the ABs. We've got one big bag of the white, and we've got two big bags of the blue. And then I thought 209 and 210 were both purple. Oh, they are. They're just stacked up against each other. One's got less than the other one, so they're in there. But let me pull them out. They do put their drills, um, the bags of drills in here in, in high-quality resealable bags, and they're in order. So your first color is going to be here. And then the last color is going to be up there. So let's pull that open. And pull out those ABs. So here's our white. Look at how big that bag is. And you can see that shine, that coating. They put a coating on there. They call it AB coating, short for Aurora Borealis. And... Yeah, they named it that because it, you know, the way it flickers. Where's the camera? There it is. <laughs> the way the light flickers and changes colors, it reminds us of the Northern Lights. Here you go. You can see it way better on the back. The different color changes there. So I especially love a working with AB drills. Um, it ba if they basically give your diamond painting is zap of sparkle wherever the ABs are. And this diamond painting is going to have a lot of it. Um, so that's the, the down right arrow. And this is going to be the sky and the, some of the clouds, um, which is the check mark. So we have two bags of this color. Uh, it looks like we've got a yellow gem in there and another hitchhiker in there too. But here we go. Here's, here's a better view from the back. You can see the sparkles. I can't wait to be able to get down to my um, office again because the lighting is so much better in there. Uh, here's the second bag. 
just as full as that first one. And then these are the other two. Um, you can see one's just light, slightly darker than the other. 53 is a little bit darker than 54. But look at look how beautiful those are. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And so those two purples are going to, I'm going to try and find them here a little bit better. Let me put these back real quick. And we'll look together. Okay, so check um, A and D. So I know we've got it in the tail. The A and D are mixed in with some other colors, but they're throughout the tail here um, in this spot. And then we've got a little bit more here. We've got one there. We've got more here. We've got more of the A and D coming in through the tail. So the tail's got it off and on throughout. And we've got some A's down in here on the body of the horse and, I mean, the Pegasus. And then we've got more A's right in here and D's. And we've got more A's here on the leg and some more D's. A's and D's on the hoof. Um, the leg, not so much the hoof. Um, down in this section right here. Uh, then on this one, I don't see any. Let's see, where else do we find some A's and D's? I do see some D's in the clouds over here. And they're going down in here, and there's more A's. And let's see, the Pegasus is, the pe that's, that's a big word, Pegasus is face. Let's see, we do have some A's on his snout, her snout. Uh, we have some more on the leg and yeah, it's throughout up in here, not the hair so much, but in between the hair where the skin is, that's where you're going to get some, some ABs going on. Like you saw the bags, there isn't as many as the purple as there is of the blue and white, but it does spread out through here, up there. And in the wings, it's basically, I see a couple of A's in there and a few D's, D's and some A's up in here. There's a, this is like a, a bunch of confetti right in this area right here. Cause there's a lot of different colors. I'm not sure what the, why all the different colors, but I'm sure it'll come together when it's done. And you can step back and see how beautiful those ABs worked in with the regular drills. Especially with there being this many colors, 56. And the majority of those colors, you know, are probably around in here. In between the Pegasus and the, the woman. And... I think, yeah, they did, what they also sent me was, I'll show you the couple of things. This is a cover minder as well. It's a multi-tool um, placer. You can put your tips, four different tips in here and use it to place. And then you can just switch like this instead of having to find a new pen. So that's kind of cool. I do already own one of myself. It's in my box. And then I think they sent me this, this is an older one, 2022. Uh, I did buy one for 2022 and 2023. So each year they um, come, they make it again with the new year. And I think they sent this as well, which is also a Coverminder trash container. So you can put your trash in there and you can keep your cover back with, and if you don't know how Coverminder works, you're working on this area and you're you're tired of the cover getting flipping back. So you take a cover minder and first you pull it back, 
get your, your cover minder here, you take that extra magnet and you put it underneath the canvas and it hooks on right there with the top piece and you can move it around where you want and it's, it keeps your cover back. Simple as that. And uh, I don't remember if there was anything else that they sent me. Um, if they did, I am really sorry. Oh, I, they did send me, they did send me a little tray. I'll show you that. Okay, last but not least, um, this is their 2.0 trays, um, but it's gridded. And we look inside there, you can see the grid. And these are great for single placers so that if you're tired of them being all flipped upside down or whatnot, this, when you shake it, they will become in the right. Here, I'm acting like I'm shaking something, but I don't, here. Let me pour some of these drills in here and I'll show you real quick how it works. And then I'll give you your secret word and we can, oh, I bet I do the um, ABs so you can see them. See, these are round. Um, these are square holes, but uh, that should still work. The square, because well, rounds are a little bigger than squares, so let's put a bunch in there. Okay, and then you shake it out because you're just single placing, if that's your goal. So now you see, I shook it out, and and they're all right side up in those spots. So you don't have to worry about flipping them over. And then when you use them all up, you shake again to get more in there. And then, or you add more to it. And they have several different sizes of the grids. Um, I, I use the, the ones with the spouts and I have, I have a max tray and I have a large tray and I have the smaller trays, all of them. I have a, quite a few of them with the grids in them and yeah, it's a pretty convenient thing, but here you can actually see the sparkles a lot better when they're laid out in a tray. Uh, there you go. See? Aren't they pretty? <laughs> okay, guys. So the keyword for this video is going to be sparkle. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video and you're still watching, Leave a comment down below and use a sentence that says sparkle in it and I will know that you made it this far with me and I completely appreciate it for anyone who's made it this far to watch all the way through my videos. So I look forward to seeing your comments. Don't forget to hit the, the bell, the subscribe and the other other thing, a notification and, and Go to Bella Art Nicole's uh, YouTube channel and also subscribe to her as well because she has a lot more of the sneak peeks to show. And I think she's done them all, but um, yeah, she showed a lot. Um, so there you go. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.